Hello and welcome everyone to another video in my Python 3 basic series. In this video, we'll be talking about the while loop. Now the while loop will allow us to execute multiple statements repeatedly until some set condition is true. Now there are two different loops in Python. One of them is the while loop and the other is the for loop. Now we'll talk about the for loop in the next video. But both of these loops are interchangeable, meaning you can use one or the other, it doesn't matter. But let's see an example for the while loop. So let's say a equals 10, sorry 1. And to use the while loop, type while and then your condition. So let's say you want the loop to execute until a is less than 10. Then colon and then press enter. Now let's print a. So if we run this code, it will work but it will keep on printing 1 as we haven't changed the value of a. So to do that, we need to add 1 to a every time it prints a number. So we'll do that by adding 1 to a. So we'll say a equals a plus 1. So what this will do is it will add 1 to a and then store it inside a. Now this is one way of doing this and the other way is using the assignment operator. So we can say a plus equals 1. So both of these statements do the same thing but as you can see this statement is a bit more compact. So we will be using this statement. So now let's run this code and see what it prints. And you can see it printed 1 to 9. So when a became 10 so I checked this condition so 10 is not less than 10 so it stopped executing the code now as you can see the structure of while is a lot like the if condition so similar to the if condition while also has it else block so escape out of the indentation of while and type else colon and let's print Let's print subscribe. So whenever this condition will become false. So in our case whenever a becomes 10. So this condition will become false. And when this condition becomes false. It will execute our else block. So let's run this. Now as you can see it printed a 1 to 9. And then it printed subscribe. Because when a become 10. This condition became false. And it printed else. So one other thing you can do with while loop is you can create an infinite loop. So let's comment this out too. So you can create an infinite loop. So an infinite loop basically means it will keep on run, running infinitely means it will never stop. So to do that type while and then type true and then cool. So this loop will run continuously because the condition is already true. So in this case, when we run the while loop, it will constantly ask if the condition is true if the con or if the condition is false. So when the condition is true, it will execute the while block and when it becomes false, it will stop the execution of the while block. So when we say it is true, so it will always keep on executing the code. So let's say we try to print 1 to 10 numbers using the while infinite loop so let's print a and we'll also need to increment a by 1 plus equals 1 so now if we run this code so let's run this code first so as you can see it goes on printing press ctrl c to stop so as you can see it went on printing so if we want to only print 10 numbers we'll need to add an if condition here so we'll say if a is greater than 10 colon now we'll use the break keyword over here so what the break will do, break keyword will do is whenever a will be greater than 10 it will stop the execution of while block and will exit out of the loop so let's run this 
So now as you can see it only printed 10, 1 to 10. Now in the next video we'll be looking at the for loop, but as I said both of them are interchangeable. I personally prefer using the for loop, but uh, it basically comes down to personal preference. And that's all I wanted to cover about the while loop. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Support me by subscribing and as always, thanks for watching and until next time.